I just can't get up this hill. It's pretty steep here. If you have a Brompton or any bike with a single chain ring and you find it challenging to get up hills or you run out of gears when pedaling downhill, there are a few ways to help with this. One thing you can do is to replace your chain ring with a smaller one or a larger one, depending where your bicycle is lacking. If you put a smaller one on it, then it's going to be easier to climb hills. If you put a bigger one on it, it's going to be better for going fast. But when you change the chain ring, then you also lose some capability on the other end of the spectrum, either climbing or speed. I bought this used Brompton and the previous owner put a whopping 58 tooth chain ring on it. Since I couldn't climb some of my local hills with this setup, I wanted to add some lower gears, but I also liked that it was quite fast and quite efficient when going fast. So I didn't want to lose some of my high gears. So I did some research and I came across the Fneo drive, which is made in Poland. It's a three speed planetary gearbox that replaces your front chain ring of the bicycle. It works not only with Bromptons, but with many other brands as well, non-folding and folding bikes too, like Dayhon, Turn, Velo and several others. Uh, it also works with uh, e-bikes with hub motors, rear hubs and front hubs. It doesn't work with mid drives though. I reached out to them to see if they wanted to send me a unit to review on the channel. And while they didn't agree to send me one for free, they gave me a discount on one to buy and to test it on the channel. Once the payment went through, I had the gearbox delivered within about a week. The package contains all the components necessary for successful installation, including the bottom bracket, the gearbox, crank arm, and some cable ties as well to ensure that you have no loose cables. You don't need to worry about connecting cables and indexing the shifter because everything already comes connected. Mine has a trigger shifter, but a twist shifter version and a bar and shifter version are also available. You need to have a few tools handy to do the installation. You need a crank puller to remove your old crank arm and a bottom bracket remover to take off your bottom bracket. Once that's done, then you can easily install the gearbox. The whole process took me approximately 15, 20 minutes. And mind you, I'm not like a very, very sophisticated bike mechanic. I know some of the basics, but uh, I'm by no means uh, an expert at this. Once I installed it, I needed to shorten my chain to make it tight enough and I was ready to go. Do you know what's even faster and easier than installing the FNEO gearbox? It's hitting the like button if you appreciate this kind of content. You can choose between a 28 and a 38 chainring option and a belt drive option is also available. The smaller one is better suited if you have a lot of hills to climb while the bigger one is better for flats and on moderate heels. I opted for the larger version. When you're in first gear, you're in direct drive, which means that your ratio is one to one, which in my case is 38 teeth. The second gear increases the gear ratio by 43%, which is 54 teeth in my case. And the third gear further increases it to a total of 179% compared to the first gear, which is the equivalent of a 68 teeth chain ring in my case. So I went from a single 58 teeth chain ring to a 38, 54, 68 triple chain ring equivalent. I've tested my FNEO gearbox for about two weeks now and my experience has been very positive so far. It has turned my overgeared three-speed Brompton into a much more usable nine-speed version which much lower low gears and even higher high gears than I had before. So it's a win-win on both ends of the spectrum. You can shift up or down while pedaling but in my experience and I think it's also stated on the website it is best to let off the pedals a little bit when you're shifting up to avoid cracking sounds and excessive stress. I didn't notice this when shifting down. Shifting is easy, fast and precise just as you would expect it. The construction feels really solid and it's fully weather sealed so you don't have to worry about dust or water damaging your inner moving parts. It also requires no maintenance 
which is a big pros compared to other front derailleurs. I also love that I can change gears even when I'm stopped. So with the help of this front gearbox and the three speed internal gear hub, I can go from my highest gear to the lowest gear, even when I'm stopped at a red light. I only have two negatives to say about this gearbox. One of them is that the right crank arm is integrated with the gearbox itself, which means that you only have one crank arm length. So if you wish to install a longer or shorter one, then you're out of luck. The other one is the pre-cabling. On the one hand, it's convenient not to have to connect cables and adjust the cable tension and index gears. But this also means that if your cable gets damaged for some reason, then you can't service it very easily. FNEO states that if anything goes wrong with the unit, you can contact them and first they're going to help you uh, troubleshoot the issue remotely. But if you aren't successful, then they will send you a replacement unit free of charge, uh, ask you to return your faulty unit to them so they can learn from what went wrong. The FNEO gearbox is an alternative solution to the German-made Schlumpf drive, which works similarly, but it only offers two gears, although a wider gear ratio than the FNEO. You switch between gears with your heels instead of a shifter on the handlebar. I feel that FNEO's gear range is still wide enough and I appreciate that there is an even distribution between the lowest and the highest gear. The gearbox costs $500 or $600 as of this recording, depending on which bicycle type you have, which I know is still beyond the affordable price tag for many. Still, considering the engineering that went into making this and the construction, and the convenience that it offers and the competition's price tag, you're getting good value for money. Adding three additional gears to a bike makes it much more usable in everyday life and it's a welcome feature for a commuter bike and urban riding. However, you may be surprised to find out that your bike is probably still not as practical as it could be, which is a bummer because most people who start commuting by bike give it up not because riding is too difficult but because their bike isn't practical enough, which is why in this video I go through seven practical features that turn a bicycle into a practical commuter. See you there!